In exercise four, we are asked to prove that the energy of a photon or any massless particle traveling at the speed of light is given by the equation E equals PC, where P is the momentum. The next part of the exercise was to calculate the wavelength using this equation and the other Einstein equation E equals HF. So first of all, we need to prove why E is equal to PC. So first of all, take the most famous equation of physics. It is E equals mc squared. Now a quick note, you should know that the rest mass of a photon is naught. In other words, the mass of a photon when it is not travelling at the speed of light. So this mass in E equals mc squared, it's unsure. We physicists mathematically don't know the precise mass of a photon. So, how do you come about this? So we know gamma is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared divided by c squared. So if we take gamma and times it by a rest mass, we get that gamma times m naught is equal to mass. So we can write e equals mc squared as E is equal to gamma times m naught multiplied by c squared. We can write this in a different way. We can say gamma m naught is equal to E divided by c squared. Okay, well, we're proving this. So, where's the momentum? So let's take the momentum. We know that the momentum in classical physics is equal to mv. But this is relativity. This is not going to work. So again, we can substitute gamma m0 for mass. So you get that momentum is equal to gamma m0 times v. Well, v is just the speed of light. So there's a slight correlation between this equation and the momentum. So we can get that momentum gamma m naught, well gamma m naught is equal to E over C squared. Therefore momentum must equal E over C squared times C. This cancels down to E divided by c, therefore we get that the energy is equal to p times c. So there's the proof using our Lorentz factor and e equals mc squared. So the next part was to use this equation and e equals hf to prove the, or to calculate the wavelength of a photon. So E equals HF, therefore must equal PC. So we can rearrange this equation to get P equaling HF divided by C. So we know, or I hope you know, <laughs> that V is equal to f times lambda, the velocity of a particle or wave, this is, well that's quantum mechanics, <laughs> but the velocity of a particle is equal to f times lambda. So we know that f divided by, um, v divided by f is lambda, but we have f divided by c, therefore f over c is going to equal 1 divided by lambda, the inverse of lambda. Therefore, we must get h multiplied by 1 over lambda, which is, of course, h divided by lambda. So we get momentum is equal to h divided by lambda, where h is the Planck's constant. Therefore, we must rearrange the equation to get a wavelength, which is therefore equal to h over p.
So there's our two equations, E equals PC and lambda equals H over P. So I hope that was useful for you and I'll see you in the upcoming videos.